Rasty McGibbon with Scott Chirac, UMass Men's Division II National Championship. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, just put into perspective all the emotions over the last hour. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I don't know. I kind of just, it happened. Um, and I kind of just blanked. I was just taking in the scenery and enjoying the moment. That's pretty much it. Iowa was a ninth in their region, fourth in their pool, and uh, they got on a hot streak, and, 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 I, and, and, and no discredit to them, but I think their goaltender as well got hot. What, what were you expecting out of them today? And then on top of it, they played a double overtime till the, you know, after 11 last night. What, what, what were you expecting out of them today? Yeah, so uh, we actually went on a Zoom call last night because one of our kids had that hockey TV. And yeah. We watched it as a team. Um, and we were just kind of watching both teams, trying to see like their strengths and weaknesses. And we noticed that um, they like to pack it in and their goalie's really good. And he makes the first save almost all the time. Um, so we were kind of expecting to try to wear them down uh, in their own zone and then get shots to the net, get some rebounds, and hopefully get some goals. Um, an incredible sea of, do you guys say maroon or burgundy? We say maroon. Yeah, maroon. Uh, incredible sea of maroon as, as we were watching there. Um, I was watching the end of the game. Uh, w w you know, you guys are about an hour from, from, from Amherst. What, what does it mean? just for the family and fans being here to support you guys today. Yeah, it's amazing. Um, every Nationals has been too far for most people to make it. Um, so for us to have it kind of in our backyard, I mean, most of the kids on our team grew up playing here. Uh, it's pretty surreal. And uh, a lot of those people that were in the stands were old teammates of mine too. Um, so it means a lot they came out and supported us. As the third period started to wear on, at, at, at what point time-wise do you think the uh, the dream of being national champion started to really solidify itself as a reality? Um, I'd probably say around five minutes left. Uh, everyone on the bench was kind of like, this is our last shift. Like, get out there, take it in, enjoy the moment, like do your job and we're gonna be champions. As a uh, fifth year grad student, um, this, this, is your, this, this, this is your last game. Put, put into words what it has been like playing with this group of guys and playing in the ACHA. Um, it's been pretty incredible. Uh, when I first came in to this team specifically, uh, I didn't really know what to expect. And we played a lot of good teams throughout the years. Um, and uh, I didn't realize how serious the competition was gonna be. And so every year we've come to Nationals, you know, we haven't luckily won uh, like we did this time. So actually winning in my last game here in this jersey, it feels really good. How do you think that this will impact future teams? Uh, you know, in the AC, you know, obviously your school is a D, uh, your school is a uh, as a D uh, as an NCAA program, also ACHA. How how do you think that this will impact and strengthen your program moving forward? Um, it'll be pretty big uh, this year. I think including kids on the team, we had about 130 kids try out versus when I first tried out, we had about 50. Wow. Um, and so I think every time we come here, like people hear about us and they're like, wow, they're they're pretty legitimate. Um, and we have actually have a lot of kids reach out to our coach trying to get recruited to come play here. It's pretty nice. Well, that's fantastic. Scott, congratulations. Thank you. Um, in honor of you guys winning the national tournament and the trophy's gone, we put this out to remind you of the Boston Shoreline, okay? I appreciate it. I, I know that's a ringer for you, okay? Yeah, absolutely. All right, Scott Turok here. Thank you. Men's Division II National Champions, UMass.